Welcome to our lesson on rearranging formulae by factorising. So we're going to use the balance method to change the subject of a formula. And we begin with question A, where X is currently the subject and we're going to make R the subject. So we have X is equal to 5R plus 3TR. And on the right hand side, we've got two R terms. So to make this one R term, we need to factorise, which means we're going to have R on the outside of our bracket with 5 plus 3T on the inside. Because when we factorise this, we have 5R plus 3TR. And this is the same as where we started. So this is now equal to X. And we're going to divide both sides by 5 plus 3t, because this means multiply. And the divide and the multiply will cancel, so this will go. But we have to do it to both sides so it remains balanced. So x over 5 plus 3t is equal to r. And you can see that r is now the subject. Okay, let's move on to question b. So in question B, we're going to make T the subject, which means we need to factorise the right-hand side for T, so we have one T term. So S is equal to T, lots of W plus 2B. Again, when we factorise this out, we do get the expression we started with. We'll divide both sides by W plus 2B. These will cancel, so we're left with S over W plus 2B is equal to T. And you can see that T is now the subject. And for question C, we're going to make V the subject. And to do this, we need to move this denominator of U plus V up here. And because it is a division of U plus V, we're going to multiply both sides by u plus v and these will cancel so we have s lots of u plus v is equal to u v and to make v the subject we need to unlock it from this bracket which we can do by multiplying it out so we have s u plus s v is equal to u v and now we need the v's on one side so we'll move these over to the other side by taking SV away from both sides. So these will cancel. We have SU is equal to UV minus SV. And now we're going to factorise the right hand side to make V on its own. So we have SU is equal to V lots of U minus S. We'll divide both sides by u minus s, and these will cancel. So we have s u divided by u minus s is equal to v. Okay, let's try question d. Okay, for question d, we're going to make x the subject, but you can see right now that x is the denominator here. So we need to move this denominator and we can do this by multiplying every term by x because this division and multiplication will cancel. So we have hx is equal to 1 plus 5yx. And now we need to make the x's on one side. So we'll move these 5yx's to the other side by subtracting them from both sides. Subtraction, because that's the opposite of the addition. So these will cancel. So we have hx minus 5yx is equal to 1. We'll factorise the left-hand side with x. So we have x lots of h minus 5y is equal to 1. We'll divide both sides by h minus 5y. 
and these will cancel so we have x is equal to 1 over h minus 5y okay thank you very much for watching and i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care